Good morning. Glad to see you all this morning as we begin our morning devotional. This is Pastor Chris, um, and I'm excited to be here with you all once again. Um, it's actually it's quite fun uh, to be able to do this. I really enjoy it. Uh, so <laughs> I am very excited to see you all starting to pop in. Hi, Ken, <laughs> with the wave. Hey, Miss Karen, how are you? <laughs> all right. Well, <clears throat> um, actually, something that I would like you all to do this time around. Um, is be active in the comments. I really do enjoy that. It makes it uh, easier for me to see, you know, I like interacting with you all, and it's great. So good morning, everybody. I see you all, um, you know, saying good morning, and it's wonderful, wonderful that you're all here. Um, you are all wonderful, and your encouragement has been fantastic through all of this. So uh, this morning, I am going to read from 1st Peter chapter 4 uh, starting in verse 7 1st Peter chapter 4 starting in verse 7 and I will begin with a word of prayer <sighs> Lord I want to thank you so much for all that you've done in our lives for just this opportunity that we are able to connect uh, in this fashion Lord I pray that you would speak through me this morning um, that those who would need to hear would hear whatever it is that you have me to say, Lord. I pray that uh, you would speak through me. Um, bless this time and let it glorify you in your name. Amen. So once again, we will be reading uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, starting in verse 7. It says, Now the end of all things is near. Therefore be serious and disciplined, for prayer, above all, Maintain an intense love for each other, since love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Based on the gift each one has received, use it to serve others as good managers of the varied gifts of God. If anyone speaks, it should be as one who speaks God's words. If anyone serves, it should be from the strength God provides so that God may be glorified through Jesus Christ in everything. To him belong the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So, just like last time, I will be going through verse by verse. Um, just that short little passage there. And uh, I hope, I hope uh, that the Lord speaks to you. In some way. So we're going to start in verse 7. Um, and this is what actually caught my attention to this passage uh, was <laughs> verse 7. It says, Now the end of all things is near. Boy, does it feel like it. <laughs> uh, you know, I know that the uh, a lot of the um, extreme measures for the pandemic are starting to come to an end. Um, but you know, never in my life has it felt more like uh, the world is ending. Uh, <laughs> and it has been a ride, let me tell you what. Um, but it says, now the end of all things is near, therefore be serious and disciplined for prayer. Be serious and disciplined. You see, even though it feels like it's the end times and even though it feels like things are, uh, you know, crazy and out of our control, you know, we still need to maintain <laughs> discipline. Um, that means we need to be diligent in our, um, our spiritual disciplines. We need to be reading the Bible. We need to be praying. We need to be fasting. We need to be... Um, in the best ways that we can, fellowshipping. I know that that's not easy now, but it is uh, something that we must maintain. Um, we need to be disciplined during this time, even though it's something that feels like everything's out of our control and it feels like um, things are spiraling at times. It is a, a very important thing to continue 
um, you know, and even outside of your spiritual disciplines, just maintaining dis uh, being disciplined is important. You know, wake up at a reasonable time. I know, um, you know, it's easy when you don't have anything to do to just sleep in and and do things and just lay around the house and do whatever it is. Um, and maybe I'm speaking more to people of my age, but <laughs> it is um, it is easy uh, to just lose discipline when your life is out of whack. And it's very important to maintain that. Very important to maintain that. Um, and verse 8 says, Above all, maintain an intense love for each other, since love covers a multitude of sin. It is very difficult to love people especially during this time um, when it feels like every man for himself um, especially several weeks ago it definitely felt like that <clears throat> um, it's hard to love it's hard to love people people are fallen people are imperfect and it is, it is very difficult to love but Peter says to maintain this intense love because love covers a multitude of sins. Now, what this means is that love repeatedly forgives. And forgiveness, forgiveness is hard. Um, you know, there are people that you have to forgive that you don't want to. It's not, <laughs> it is not an easy thing. Um, and I know, I know we all have experience with that. Um, but, you know, in this in this day and age it's well who am i needing to forgive chris well you know i i see those facebook comments <laughs> i see um some of those conversations and you know i know um and it's 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 difficult and people people are not nice and everyone is scared and when people are scared they act out and do things they normally wouldn't do but we need to forgive it's, all that being said, we need to forgive. That's, um, you know, and we need to be the first to forgive. We need to be the ones who take that action. Um, moving on. Be hospitable. This is verse 9. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Be hospitable. That sounds like a very daunting task at this time. Um, you know, how can we be hospitable when we can't even see each other for the most part? Uh, and, and, you know, like I said the uh, last time, there are many ways that we can be hospitable without having to actually invite people into our home. Uh, you know, call one another, text one another, check in on each other, drop off groceries or food or supplies or whatever it is. Um, you know, love on each other, see what people's needs are. Be there for each other. It's important. It's very important. Okay. Based on the gifts each one has received, use it to serve others as good managers of the varied grace of God. So use your gifts to serve. You know, and I see all of this is more difficult at this time. And I understand that. But the economy and our... I don't know, our environment, everything outside of us, is what's taking a break. Our walk with Christ is not. So we need to continue to serve God. We need to continue to use our spiritual gifts to their abilities. We need to continue to love each other. We need to continue to listen to God through all of this because we do these things to glorify God. Moving on to verse 11. If anyone speaks, it should be as one who speaks God's words. If anyone serves, it should be from the strength God provides so that God may be glorified through Jesus Christ in everything. And that is what we do. We glorify God through everything. And that is why we are here. I can promise you that doing nothing does not glorify God. We need to glorify God. Have a forgiving spirit without being asked. That is correct, uh, Mr. Hugh. That is something that we need to do. It is uh, vastly important because those things glorify God. 
and that is our purpose here. That's what we're that's what we're here for. That's why why we're still on this earth is to bring glory to God. To Him belong the glory and power forever and ever. Amen. To finish it up, so I just want to say thank you all for listening to me for those few minutes. Hopefully, I. <laughs> Uh, didn't ramble too much. Um, I love you all. Uh, it's great, great seeing you all hearting all on the side of the post and and all of these things that you all are saying. It brings joy to my heart. Um, so I will close this in a word of prayer, and I'll let you all go. Lord, thank you so much for all that you've done in our lives, Lord. I pray that we would be diligent and disciplined during this time of crisis that we would continue to seek you in all things. Lord, I pray that you would give us the strength that we need to um, fight our everyday battles, that we would um, conquer bitterness, that we would conquer laziness, that we would um, do all things to glorify you, Lord. So to you be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. All right. Well, have a wonderful day.